was good everyone hold up i need my chair and give me a sec this is a fail but uh, no worries but anyways was good everyone was good hope y'all having a great day today so we back so welcome back to the channel with the host truly machiavelli sorry guys i'm flabbergasted right now i just had to do some stuff well anyways guys it is um let me just let me just tell you my situation right now so it's it's seven in the morning and i just got home um, I just came home from my friend's house. I was there all night. I'm gonna get into the story about that, about my day, because it's it was funny. Um, I went out, so pretty much anyways, guys, so... <laughs> Should I just get ready to it? No, I have to tell you what I'm doing. So anyways, guys, today's part two of... The <laughs> I'm all over the place, guys. Sorry, I just came home, and I want to go to bed, but I have to film this, or, like, do this commentary for you guys first, because I want to upload this today. So, sorry from the all over the place, I'm still half... Anyways, I'll get to that part in a second, but um, today I'm going to be filming <laughs> part two of the speed build that I posted before. This is the, um, what's it called again, the three-story house. So this is part number two. I'm working on the bedrooms and the bathrooms of the upstairs of the two levels. Um, they were actually not, you guys just hear me like scratch my head, <laughs> sorry, um, but they're actually not that long, so I just ended up putting them all together. I thought I was gonna have to do like three parts, but nah, I just have to do two, so that's awesomeness. So right now I'm just working on the loft and all that stuff. And actually guys, my favorite room is gonna be done in this part. So yeah, I'll tell you guys which one it is, but love the room. So anyways, so let's get into it guys. So what's good everyone? So I've had a blissful morning. It's been very eventful. Um, so as you guys know, I, by the way guys, thank you guys so much for being so compassionate about me in school. Like in the last part, I told you guys that um, I had to like upload late and that I told you that I got home late and um, all that stuff and you guys are like giving me such nice like notes saying don't work yourself too hard and we understand and you guys want me to focus on school like honestly guys thank you guys so much honestly for being so compassionate and being so thoughtful and being so understanding of my situation that's awesome like honestly guys um the amount of like like comments saying that it's okay take your time like we will we will be back we'll be back like when like well, we're gonna be here when you come back so just take your time do well in school and we'll see you in a bit i'm like wow guys <laughs> thank you thank you for being so understanding so thank you guys very much for being very understanding and just let you guys know i'm doing well in school what i do is i make these videos at night when i get home from school like i make sure but but what i do is i pretty much i plan out my day before I even start it um, so I'll go to bed Bef I'll go to bed so I'll give an example I'll go to bed on Tuesday and before I go to bed like, okay what's my plans for tomorrow so I'm like okay I have this I have this I have this to do I have my tasks and once I've done my task I'll have like record a video and um, edit a video I have those up too so when I get so I have like levels so level one is to the schoolwork and the go meeting people crap I still didn't go to be so I have to go meet this um, dude to talk about like because the school owes me money per se because I paid for something I returned it and they haven't given it back to me yet. So I made this meeting. Um, so I planned this meeting with this guy to go see him on Friday and I fully forgot. Crap! Now I have to go and reschedule it. I'm such a I'm being Malik right now. Honestly, I forget everything. <laughs> I forget everything, but honestly, I'm so pissed. I was like, you know how long it took me to plan that sh that thing? Like, honestly, I was like, okay, this Friday for sure, I'm gonna meet him. <laughs> I missed the whole flipping appointment. Totally me. <laughs> God. Um, but anyways, what I was talking about again? Okay, so I was talking about my schedule. So yeah, I plan on what I'm gonna do today, but it, as as you as you can see, it never works out because I forget flipping everything. So <laughs> I plan out what I'm supposed to be doing for the day before I do it. And then um, when I wake up, I just start off my plan. So I'm like, okay, that has to be done. That has to be done. That has to be done. And when it's done, I mostly likely get home. Sometimes I get home at like 12. Like I said before, I get home at 12. Sometimes I get home at like 7. And then I go straight to recording and editing videos. So that's why I say I get most of my inspiration at night. So I do all of my work at night. And also I do have um, morning classes and they end at like 10. So I always come home. Um, and I always come home and I work on and I edit um, through the day. So like I record my my um, let's plays in the morning, but I do my speed builds in the night and I record my um, 
commentaries in the morning because people are awake and I can get pretty loud when I do this stuff so I don't want to um, wake them up so I always do my commentaries like when I'm talking to you guys I do it in the mornings and when I'm actually doing the videos I do it at night but sometimes I do do the commentaries at night because I have plans and I won't have to do it the next day and I have a video up for you guys which was like the last one that's like the like the only time I've ever done like a commentary at night because I needed to get it out for you guys um, but I most likely do it during the day so don't worry guys I have everything planned out I'm I am school will always come first even though I, I I'm trying to like balance it out and it's working well so far I'm doing really good in school like really good um, my exams I got by my exams and I passed all of them with flying colors I did really good on them so school has been doing really good and YouTube has been doing really good too I guess because you all are like so amazing like honestly guys y'all are so amazing so give you give yourselves a round of applause for being amazing because y'all are and if you guys can tell I'm talking a bit lower, it's because it is, like I said before, it is, um, what is it now? It's 7 in the morning. No, it's not 7 in the morning. When I got here, it was 7 in the morning. Now, it's, um, 8, yeah, right here, 8.10. Um, it's 8.10 right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, and it's, I wanted to be quiet because my roommates are still sleeping. So, if you see, if you hear me whispering, that is why. Um so pretty much now i'm working on one of the bedrooms um i tried to make this sort of like a very cool boyish like teen not teen boys but like i don't even know i just i just made a cool room like a room that i would want to live in all these rooms that i make are the rooms that i wish i had <laughs> like honestly i wish like the bunk bed is so awesome i've always wanted to live in a bunk bed just because like I don't know. I just always wanted to live in one, and my, I had one, but we kind of broke it, so I couldn't really use it. <laughs> so <laughs> my dreams were never complete, but it's okay. I, I, I moved on. I moved on. But um, yeah. So pretty much that's what I'm pretty much doing for all the rooms. But anyways, let's get into my story. So like I said before, um, I've had. I don't know. I didn't tell you guys. I had a very eventful, a, a eventful week. I actually finished all my assignments. Praise the Lord. And I said to myself, No, Malik, you're going out this weekend. You're going out. You're having some fun. You haven't went out in such a long time. You you can do it. So um, called my friend up. I'm like, Yo, um, <laughs> let's do something this weekend. So she's like, Sure, let's go. So she lives an hour away from me. An hour. So I have to. And I bus there. So imagine that. So she lives an hour away from me. And so we plan this out. I know for. Oh God, no crash. Sorry guys. I'm just. Okay, there we go. I fixed it. I'm just being a klutz today. I'm breaking everything. Jesus. Calm down, please. Stop touching stuff. Stop touching stuff. Jesus. Okay, back to the story. So, lives an hour away, so I take the bus. Um, no bad, bad. Too far. So pretty much, I since I got all my homework done, like I said before, I planned. I'm like, yes, I'm going out. Done deal. I am going out. <laughs> so, I go out and um, I go to her place. Well, she lives in like an apartment building, but I go to the apartment building. And um, we start chilling. Uh, we start drinking, of course, because... I wanted to. <laughs> I'm like, yo, we got any beer? She's like, yeah, I got some beer. I'm like, okay, it's settled. I'm coming. So, <laughs> so we went to her place. I started drinking. We all did that. We we got turned, guys. We got so turned so quick. Um, if you guys know what shotgunning is, I shotgunned shotgunned two beers, um, like one after the other, and I was out of it. <laughs> well, I wasn't like out of it, out of it. I was just like tips and it was funny it was really funny i enjoyed it we just had a blast doing that for a little bit and then um somehow we made it to um burger king and i bought these two burgers uh, i think what they're called they're called the big kings i bought these two burgers and they were delicious like wow burger king has never tasted so good in my life i was like demolishing that thing and i was just craving it so i want to go back i'm like malik calm down you're good um <laughs> know what's going on with me i had the munchies for some reason but so that happened and so we went back and then there was just these, a bunch of people just doing some random stupidness on the street and since myself is lit at this point like i say lit a lot because lit describes how i was actually i was very in a, i was in a very playful mood i was i wanted to do whatever i just wanted to have fun <laughs> i really didn't care and so they started doing some stupid stuff so i started joining in because my dumb self thought it was cool too so i started joining in in that goofiness and then i almost got hit by a car mm -hmm. that was fun i almost i was on playing the streets and then i almost got hit by a car um i'm not the smartest person while intoxicated i learned this now but um 
I'm getting better at it. Like I remember the first time I got drunk, but that's that's a, that's, a, that's another story for another day, at another time, at another place, at another minute, at another in another city, in another province. That's just a that's just a bad story. But um, most embarrassing story of my life is the first time I ever got drunk. Oh jeez. But anyways, anyways, guys. So that happened. Um, then we get back into her apartment after we go to Burger King. Then we, then we go on this like huge rant about parents. I don't even know where it came up. We just we just we just started ranting about our parents, and that lasted for about a good hour or so. And then some dudes came back from party. Then we went to their dorm room. We went back to their apartment. These random dudes, and then we got we started partying with them. And then I met this really cute girl, really cute girl. But then I was too drunk and I didn't get her number, sadly. Um. <laughs> And yeah, I had a pretty fun night. I, I don't know why I told you guys that. I, th I thought it'd be fun. I thought you guys would like to know how my night went. Um, but it was, yeah, it was really fun. Um, I ended up having to stay, like, because she lives in a really small, like, what's it called again? It's like, it's like a dorm apartment style thing because you have this, they all have like a, so I don't know how to describe it. So you walk into this apartment and then there's a living room and there's a kitchen. And after all the rooms are like blocked off with a door. I need like a key to get into each room after it's like a really small room. So we, I, it was, I couldn't get back home because at this point it was like one in the morning and the buses stopped running at 12. So I couldn't get back home. So I'm like, yo, where are we going to sleep? She's like, no, let's we'll sleep in the lobby. Yeah, like downstairs in the lobby, like totally. So that's what we did. We got blankets, we got pillows and we just made like a little fort in the lobby. <laughs> we slept in the lobby all night and we slept there till like five and then I had to go home and I just put something on my face and that was pretty gross. Um, um, so I slept there till like five and then I woke up. I was like, yo, I gotta go. She's like, and by that time when I woke up, I, I had no voice. Like I like, I was like, what did we do last night? Why can't I talk anymore? And so I, I realized that with all the selfies that I took with us, um, I met a lot of people, a lot of people that I don't remember. <laughs> um, I went to one party to where me and this dude were chugging a beer at the same time. I have a video of it. Um, what else happened? I was in the photo. Okay, let me, let me check. No, I actually remember this one. The other one, I got this, um, this is like this Korean, um, Snapchat app. And me and this girl were, um, on it. And we just swapped faces so many times. It was, I don't know why, I took so, I took so much pictures of that. I, like, I, I remember half of the stuff that I did. I, I don't remember the other half. But anyways, it was a good night. I had fun. I drank a lot of water, so don't worry. I woke up with a little hangover, a little little hangover but i'm good i i survived and so i got up at six to catch a bus and i got up at 5 30 to catch a bus at six but when i got to, and it takes me two buses to get home so when i got to, so i went so when i get to when i bleh, when i got to the terminal to catch the next bus <laughs> the bus okay at that time it was 6 30 and the bus gets there no bad at that time it was 6 20 and the bus gets there at 6 6 50 6 50 so i had to wait 30 minutes <laughs> for the next bus and i'm tired as heck sitting at the bus stop it was raining it was cold i had a really thin jacket it was just a terrible situation and so i was sitting there for three hours no not three hours 30 minutes and i was just had to listen to music at like i the time was just going by so flipping slow to the point it drove me crazy it drove me crazy i'm like how has it only been like two minutes since last time i checked my phone i thought i, I thought it was like an hour because <laughs> the time went by so slow so anyways the bus came and i got home and i just walked into the door and i changed my clothes and um i got some water in my system i drank some orange juice and i decided that i'm gonna do this for you guys before i go to bed because i'm tired i was literally in bed i'm like wait do I, did i do it it's like no i did, i forgot to do this so i got my i got my ass out of bed <laughs> and i walked into this room and i was like okay let's film this thing and so i had to go in here and i forgot which file i saved this build on i got scared because i don't have the other videos for this file so if i if, if i didn't have this file you guys could wouldn't have been you guys wouldn't have been able to see this part so i got really scared so i was like crap this cannot be happening to me no people are, you guys are so excited for this part so i'm like no and i love this part i love how the rooms came out i want to show you guys this i was like i got so pissed i'm like no i have to find this i have to find this and so i finally found it it was in my recycling bin 
thank the lord i checked the recycling bin i accidentally deleted it so and now i'm recording it <laughs> so now i'm recording the out just so yeah guys that was my night it was fun i had a lot of fun it was great for me to let loose for once i haven't actually done that in about a month and a half people are like what a month and a half yeah bro last year i was a party animal i went to party every friday i i in my because i lived in res and we started drinking on thursdays mm -hmm. we started drinking from thursdays and we stopped drinking on sunday at uh, sunday was recovery day <laughs> And then when Thursday came, you cracked open another beer and you just kept on going. <laughs> so yeah, that was me last year. So I'm proud of myself. I've calmed down with the party. I've only went to, I've only been to three or four parties this year. So not a lot compared to last year. Um, even Halloween. Last year I went to, cause Halloween I think was on the Saturday and I went to a party on the Friday, then the Saturday and then the Sunday. <laughs> yeah, I partied all Halloween weekends last year and this year I actually didn't go to any parties because I spent my weekend pretty much studying for my exams <laughs> because this year is a very important year so I had to study so I did that and that was fun but um yeah, and I also made videos that day too so that was really fun too uh, but yeah that's pretty much my day I hope you all having a great day too so how you how was your day going how was your Friday guys I hope your Friday was blessed um i hope your saturday is gonna be even blesser <laughs> blesser is that even word even better there we go it's even better um yeah guys i'm literally just working on a headache not really a headache but i'm running on two hours of sleep oh yeah i didn't tell you guys this did i we stayed up until two o'clock no three o'clock 3 50 something just talking and then we decided to go to bed and then i got up at 5 30 so yeah i'm running on like two hours and maybe less than two hours i don't even know something amount of sleep not a lot and i'm feeling good i almost slept on the bus and when i sleep i snore and that would have been that would now no well, i don't snore it depends on how i'm sleeping i snore sometimes so if i was snoring on the bus that would have been a terrible situation so thank god i didn't fall asleep but um Let's see what else we're doing right now. The build is at, oh, we're halfway through. We're halfway through. God damn. <laughs> I thought we were more. <laughs> I was like, I've been talking for so long. How is it only halfway through? But I don't mind. I enjoy talking to you guys. And I'm liking that you guys actually like it too. Because I feel like this is like one of the only ways that you guys actually get to know me. So you guys, I'm not a drunk. I am not. I, I can handle my alcohol. I've only been drunk twice in my life. And the first time I ever got drunk is because I wanted to be drunk. I just wanted... I was in grade 11 and I wanted to know what was like because I, I wasn't I was big into TV shows I still am big into TV shows and in every single TV show there's always that drunken scene where like they go crazy and they're like oh I blacked out. I'm like okay drunk people are not like that and I've never been drunk before like I just haven't so I was like oh, it was one day and of course my family went to the beach and I didn't go because I don't swim well I do swim I just I just don't like water so I didn't go and I was like you know what I, I just want to know and my my parents have um like okay so pretty much how it works is if you go into our kitchen and my parents are really ghetto so we don't have like those like you know how you have like a bar tray or something to hold all the liquor my parents are very ghetto they don't do that shit they just put everything under the counter in the kitchen so it's full access to the bar pretty much so I doubt I'm pressed my um, brother actually went to the beer store that day and um, no the Al LCBO and he picked up some alcohol too and he's like do you want some I'm like sure I'll take some why not so he gave me I guess I'm gonna tell you the story now on how it went why not I'm, I'm in the middle of it so I'll just continue I was like wait I'm actually gonna tell you this yeah I'm gonna tell you guys this so pretty much what happened was I thought with my dumb self that when you start drinking that you automatically get drunk like once you once you take like your first shot poof you're drunk that's what i thought i don't know why but i'm an idiot i thought that yes i'm gonna take this shot and i'm gonna get drunk in like two seconds two seconds flat so i do that so i take so um i my mom my mom has a little bit of rum yes jamaican rum i took shots of jamaican rum i'm an idiot so i took shots of that but um anyways <laughs> uh, my mom had um jamaican rum and so i took a shot of that uh, it was disgusting. I hated it, but I'm like, I just wanted, I wanted experiment. I wanted experiment. I want to know how it was to be drunk. I wanted to know. So, I felt, I felt, I fought through the pain of wanting to throw up after I took the shot. But I was like, you know what? This is not working. I'm not drunk. Is this, is this, is this, is this not? It's like, no. It tastes like it, but I'm not drunk. This makes no sense. So I take another shot, of course, and then 
I was like, nope, still not drunk. This is not working. So I'm like, no, what? Maybe, maybe this is not the right. So I go, I open up this can that my brother had of like this vodka mix thing. It was like seven percent alcohol. Um, seven percent. Oh, it was thirteen percent alcohol. And so I drank the whole can. Yep, I drank the whole can in mere seconds. I, I, I chugged that shiz. It was definitely pretty delicious. Um, I'm like, nope, still not drunk. I'm like, I'm getting a little lightheaded, but that's pretty much it. I am not drunk. This is not working out. So know what? So I, what I did, so I, so what I did last was I'm like, know what? I'm just done. So I just went under the cupboard, and my mom had a bottle of wine. So you know, what? I'm just gonna drink off this bottle of wine, cause why not? So I did that. I just doused off. It was, it was not, it wasn't that much. It was like. Um, one fourth of it left, yeah, of a bottle of wine. So I just doused that down beautifully. And so I did that. And then I was like, nope, I'm still not drunk. So I got pissed. So I'm like, no, I'm done. Maybe I'm just, maybe just, maybe just, I just can't get drunk. So I got super pissed and I just walked away and I started watching TV. And out of nowhere, <laughs> this is where the story gets good. So out of nowhere, um, my my vision starts getting blurry i'm like what's going on why is my vision getting blurry also also by the way guys oh i didn't tell you guys my favorite room did i it was the room that i did before this one that's my favorite room this is my second favorite room i love the way it came out i love the colors and i love that little cat thing in the side it's so cute i love it it's so cute um but anyways back to the story so i got yeah so i, so I started getting blurry visions i'm like well my, my blah my vision my my eyesight or yeah, my visual, I don't even know. But my eyesight started getting blurry at that point. I'm like, this makes no sense. And I started laughing a lot at everything that the TV said. And then at one point, I, last thing I remembered was I started arguing with the TV at one point. I'm like, this is not me, what's going on? So I started like slapping myself, I'm like, Malik, get a, get a hold of yourself. Um, come on, Malik, this is not you, what are you doing? And so I started slapping myself, trying to figure out, I'm actually slapping myself right now. Um, so I slapping myself like, come on Malik, wake up, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, wait, so this is how, this is how I feel like to be drunk? And that's when it actually didn't start kicking in yet. So what I decided to do, last thing I remember of that night, um, before my parents got home was, let's see. So I went outside on my porch and um, I started yelling at my neighbor's kids. Mm -hmm. I started doing that. So I started like yelling, like in my underwear too. I was in my boxers outside on the porch, yelling, yelling, yelling <laughs> at my neighbor's kids to shut up. Um, and that's all I remembered. But here is the good part. My brother came home and this is all that he, this is all, right? What I'm gonna tell you right now, this is all what he told me that I'd done. I don't remember any of this. Till this day, I still don't remember not a single word of this. I have a vision of it in my mind, but it's a vision of what I think happened. I don't remember any of this. But um, yeah, so this is what I thought happened. So pretty much, no, this is what he told me that happened. So he came home and he found me on the porch, passed out in my boxers, of course, just laying on there on the porch. Um, and so he woke me up and I'm like, and he told me, and when I when he woke me up, I just started like stretching, like I'm good, I'm good. Um, and then I walked inside. And then I went to the kitchen and I got, I don't know what I did in the kitchen, he said, he just said I went to the kitchen. And then he told me that I had a full on 10 minute conversation with his girlfriend. I don't talk to his girlfriend, I don't. So he's like, yeah, you talked to her for a good 10 minutes. I'm like, I don't remember any of this. What are you talking about? When, when did I talk to this? He's like, and she's like, yeah, you talked to me for a good 10 minutes. I was surprised, I'm like, I really did? He's like, yeah, for a good 10 minutes. And so that's the last thing that, they supposedly saw me. And so my parents get home and they're like, to my brother, um, where's Malik, where's Malik? Cause I wasn't downstairs. I normally downstairs watching TV with them. She's like, oh, he's upstairs. He, I haven't seen him in a while. So they go upstairs and they're calling my name. They're like, Malik, where are you? Malik, Malik. And I'm not answering. <laughs> oh, this is the best part. So what happens is my parents walk into their bathroom and they catch me. Okay, just picture you know, picture picture all those commercials of where they're like don't drink because you always see like that girl with her face in the toilet puking that was me that was good old malik mm -hmm. face first in the toilet puke all over the floor that was me my head i was sleeping on the toilet seat mm -hmm. my head was just laying on the toilet seat with vomit just all over my face i don't even remember me getting to the toilet guys i don't even remember me getting to the flipping toilet i don't i don't remember but supposedly i vomited all over my mom's like rugs and the towels and the toilet paper was messed up and there was vomit everywhere she said and 
All I remember was my mom talking, but I couldn't hear a word she said. Nothing. I couldn't hear a word. All I could see was her expressions and her just yelling, but I couldn't hear anything. I was just in my own flipping zone. And so that happened. And then so I decided to go downstairs. I just I just walked past her, like with vomit all over my face, all over my clothes. Didn't care. Walked straight past her. I went straight downstairs. Then my dad starts yelling, and I can't hear him too. He's like, rah, 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 rah. I'm, I'm just like, I don't even care. I just want to go to bed. <laughs> I just want to go to sleep. I had the biggest stomach ache, and I just, I just want to go to sleep. And I couldn't hear a word he was saying, so I'm like, I'm just gonna walk past him too. So I walk past him, and I go to my room, and then. <laughs> Literally, guys, five minutes later, I started puking again all over the flipping floor in my room. And I was like, oh, and then the sound starts going back and I could start hearing my mom. And I'm like, oh, crap, what did I just do? And so I literally started puking the whole night away. Like, I, I saw that bucket. My brother even wrote on it, vomit bucket for me, <laughs> even though I haven't vomited. Oh, that's a lie. Um, but yeah full-on 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 mess i was a mess that day and that's when i figured out that being drunk is not a fun thing i literally want i literally started out it started out as an experiment i wanted to know how it felt to be drunk and i figured it out it was a terrible experience it's not fun to be drunk it hurts it's, and the day after was terrible the day after sucks because I didn't drink water and the hangover killed me. Like when I say killed me, I mean like I wanted to die. Literally, I was planning my death because it hurts that much. It's like a throbbing in your head and also like your stomach just feels like it wants to puke every five minutes, but nothing will come out because you already puked out your guts the day before. Like it was so uncomfortable. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> but every time I think about it, I have to laugh because I was like, this is like hilarious. I was like, mom, because I told my mom, I was like, mom, I didn't do it on purpose. She's like, I shouldn't have trusted you. I'm like, mom, I didn't do it on purpose. I'm not, I'm not a rebel. I just wanted to know how I felt to be drunk. She's like, what? I'm like, yeah, I was curious. I'm like, because watching this show and this girl was like drunk, I'm like, this can't even be that fun because it looks fun. Yeah, being drunk was totally fun. Um, I'm like, mom, I just, I just wanted to know like how it felt to be drunk. I didn't actually drink because I wanted to. <laughs> she's like, oh, she's like, She's like, oh, but are you an idiot? Why would you do that? Do you like, didn't you, we, had, like, we went on this huge lecture about how I destroyed my immune system and how I'm gonna die in a few months because I destroyed my liver and all that stuff. And it's just, it was a full, like, I had a full lecture with my mom that day about drinking. And then, yeah, I never drunk again for a while. And then I started drinking again when I got to college. And then I got, that's okay, I can't tell you. Okay, now that's, now that which was my last one and which will always be my last one my last um drunken story i'll say that for another video if you guys want to hear it please tell me in the comments down below if you guys want to hear my last drunken story that's the best one overall my brother still has a recording of what i said it's a little bit embarrassing he has a recording of me because i called them and i let's just say when you're drunk someone should really take away your phone someone your friend should really take away your phone if you ever have a drunk friend do not give them your phone do not give them their phones take them away from them because they'll make some of the biggest mistakes of their life and i did that day i made a huge mistake and i regret it till this day i <laughs> oh, it was my birthday and i wanted to have fun and i did so anyways that story will be told if you guys want to know so leave that comment down below anyways guys yeah it's been wow it's been literally almost 30 minutes and i don't even mind so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed the story of my life honestly i know that it's like supposed to be like bad because i was i was a i was in grade 11 i wasn't 19 i i mean yeah i wasn't 19 because in canada you have to be 19 to like drink i was um I was 16 at the time. I was just curious. Honestly, I was just curious. It wasn't even because I wanted to drink. I hate drinking. Um, it's literally, well, no, I don't hate drinking. Okay, so that was my alarm. Beautiful. Um, yeah, by the way, you're like, who's the screaming girl? Yeah, that's like a joke my brother plays on me. I haven't switched it yet. Um, pretty much what happens was I had to take my tablet to school real quick for an assignment, and he placed a screaming girl on an alarm as an alarm. And so I was in class, and it went off. 
like in the middle of us doing like private like our private assignments where everyone works by themselves like quietly that alarm goes off and it scares every single person in the class even the teacher had to like <gasps> yelp and i yelped too and i started like having like cold sweats because it was coming out of my bag and i, I want to punch my brother it was so fucking embarrassing so a bit embarrassing literally guys just imagine a screaming girl a screaming flipping girl in a uh, it was it was it was it was a nightmare but um it was it was actually the highlight of the class though whenever like when the class ended um we were like when the, uh, blah, blah, when the semester ended for that um term we were like oh do you remember when like malik's phone went off in class and that screaming girl came out i'm like yeah i remember it i was I was mortified. <laughs> I was totally mortified that day. But anyways, guys, yeah. A little more insight on me. My brother loves to play jokes on me. I play jokes on him. That's that's literally our family. Our family's full of jokesters. We, you can't take our family seriously sometimes, honestly. My mom love that woman. I love her to death and back. Like, she's the funniest woman I've ever met in my life. She she has the funniest jokes and she has the funniest comebacks. Honestly, the funniest comebacks funniest comebacks like we had like a rose session like yes our families my family does rose sessions where we just all go around circles and we roast each other that's what my family does <laughs> uh, we're crazy i love them though so what's it called yeah my mom was like my mom's a queen of roasting and she roasted my little brother so bad like to the point where we ended the game because i'm like mom you can't do that i'm like mom you took it too far <laughs> mom you're like you're breaking your son's self-confidence <laughs> I love my mom though, but you can't take us, you can't take us seriously and I love them to death, honestly. But anyways, guys, um, this is my cue. I reached the the slide, so that's telling me that I gotta log off. So, hope y'all enjoyed this commentary. Sorry if I was all over the place. Sorry again for the screaming girl. I will promise that you'll never have to see her again, hopefully. I still need to change it. I still need to change that. I really need to change that. Um, I just, I'm just too lazy. But anyways, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And also, guys, if you see any CC in this room, of course, ask me for it. I will find it for you and give it to you always ask i'll also be doing a cc find or how i find my cc for you guys i just don't know when i'll be uploading it i'll figure out a way i'll figure it out but anyways guys yeah so leave also leave requests down below of course always leave requests because this was a requested video this was a very big requested video so thank you again for everyone who requested this um i got your thank yous in the description so thank you everyone and enjoy your day and i'll catch you guys on the flip side as always peace love y'all <laughs>